my channel today and we are doing another episode of design and decorate and let me tell you today is a great day because you know why because one the sims is live streaming today of the new parenthood game pack two i'm building a house in the sims 4 three mm, it's a friday because <laughs> i love fridays it's awesome but on the plus side i am building a different house that i've never built before in the sims 4 ever so i thought you know what i'm gonna build a spanish colonial house i get i would say in oasis springs because in the in oasis springs there's like a whole bunch of spanish theme houses so i thought you know what i'm gonna replicate that i'm gonna build it i actually found a picture on pinterest i think and i saw that house and i was like "Ooh, this is a good house to build in the sims 4 so i tried to copy that and so i did it's not exactly the same but i try to add my own personal style to it so that picture is kind of irrelevant but anyway, I, I kind of think I did a really good job on this house. I started building on the outside in. I think that's, I'm starting to do that a lot more because I feel like if I start building on the outside in, I can kind of get a general idea of what I want, like on the inside. And I didn't really f like fully furnish this house just because I know when I add a lot of stuff, the game can get a little bit laggy for some people. So I thought, you know what, I'm going to semi-decorate it and then people can just add on top of it if they want to. So... Here it is for your own convenience, but this house is actually over 200,000 simoleons on the gallery, so that's a bit of an understatement there. <laughs> Good luck with that, but if your sims are rich, then look at that. You're set for life. You're set for life. It's great. It's awesome. I, okay, so I, I feel like that I've never built this house before, which I've never done before, and I actually took a picture on, when I, I was kind of pre-building this, because of what I usually do for my houses is that I kind of, I don't press the record button, so I just kind of build the house first, like the shell of the house that I want to make it look like. I do that first, and then I go ahead and take a picture of it. Just so I can get like a general idea of what I want the house to look like, and it looks completely different, but... Either way, I feel like that pre-building is something that I think everyone should do so they can like, kind of have a general idea of what they want to build in The Sims before they press the record, and record button. For me, when I press the record button, I feel like I'm rushing and it's going a lot faster than usual. Hence, this house took me three and a half hours to do, which was not that bad compared to other people who build in The Sims. Like, I know the longest build I've ever done took me like about eight to nine hours and that was a whole entire... I think uh, an apartment townhouse loft thing that I did in the same as you know when a city living came out and that was so big I was like oh my gosh I'm eight hours in I'm still not done I need to finish this house a lot more so that was a thing I will actually link down the the bill below if you want to check it out I think it was like two parts so if you want to watch it it's, it's there it's for your own convenience but yeah either way so the roofing of this house was really really difficult so I tried to I was trying to see what the other houses were looking like in Oasis Springs. So I was kind of going back and forth between this house and the other houses of what it looked like on the inside and also on the outside because I wanted to make the sh sure the structure looked nice as well. And since it's in this lot right here, it's in a 40 by 30 lot in Oasis Springs. It's in that little green patchy area. And it looks very, like, very luxurious, very nice, very secluded is where the caliente the calientes actually live so if you're in oasis springs you have the base game the calientes live right next door to this house so when i place this out right here you go right next door the calientes are there they're lit they're crazy they have parties all day don Lothario is all flirting and craziness but that's how don works don is a flirty machine like okay so one of my sims they they were i was in my current house at one time and Don Lothario just came up to my Sims like, hey, how you doing? You doing? You look great. You look. You look awesome. And I'm like, um, Don, who do you think you are? You are um not a married man, but you have three other women in your house who love you, who adore you. But um, apparently you're a slime dog who goes around and who does not comes around because you know you're just. Mm -mm. No, Don. Lothario, I don't like him. I really don't like Don Lothario for some reason because he's so sleazy like he tries so hard but it never works like he tries to be flirty and very romantic but no no he 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 tries to, he he's the person who kisses on the first day like you don't kiss a person on the first day that's just unacceptable craziness there so yeah avoid donald Dario. he's not he's not a good person he's a little bit crazy the one good person i know in the sims 4 would have to be 
not Eliza Pancakes, because she's a stalker. She stalks my house every single time I play a new game. She's like, I'm starting my new game. She's right there in front of my front porch, watching me through the window. I'm like, hello, can I help you, sir? Can I can I help you, Eliza? What you doing? What you doing? <laughs> Bye. Um, but you no, know, the nicest person I've met in Sims 4 would have to be, I think it's Bob Pancakes, because he's very much of a loner, and he doesn't really talk to people that much. So, because I know that Eliza and Bob's relationship is a little bit... A little bit wonky, a little bit, a little bit shifty there, because I know Eliza doesn't really care for Bob as much as Bob does for Eliza. So I, I just want to figure out why, though. Like I feel like I, I kind of know why, but I just don't want to know why. You know, you know. And for like my gameplay, I have, I play Bob and Eliza sometimes, and right now they're doing really good. They're doing a really good job with maintaining the relationship. They have a kid. They have another, they have actually have two kids in my little save file. And it's so adorably awesome that they are being healthy. Bob is slimming down. He's working out a lot more. He's doing really great. And I just feel happy for him. So let me know what you guys, who is your favorite townie in The Sims 4 as of right now? Mine is Bob Pancakes as of right now. That will probably change in the next couple of days as you know. You know, Parenthood's coming out, and I know they got Sims for it. And I'm like, I, just, I, need, I need them in my life. I need them in my life. Oh, let me tell you. So the Sims 4 Parenthood pack, I don't know if I said it already, but the Sims is live streaming today on Twitch, like around at 1 p.m., I think, PST. So I'm honestly keen for that. I'm really excited for it. I'm, I'm going to be in that chat forever because I... I am just excited for this pack because one, it seems like gener it seems like a generations pack to me, which I love. I love generations. I love family aspect games that have family things in it. So with this, it feels like that you can do like rocket projects, model model vo model volcano. You can like be um you can like do grounding, timeouts, time restrictions, is curfews, acne. It's it's something that I honestly think that's so much fun like to have. But the one thing I don't like is that that um the the acne is an accessory. Like it's you can't have it as an actual thing on your face. I'm like, Sims, why you do that to me? Why you do it? I it's weird because I I wish like in The Sims two you were able to have acne like your a pimple would just show up right on your face as it would in real life. And I'm like great now that Sims four is an is an acne. Well, the acne is a, is an accessory on The Sims four. I feel like like now we have braces in The Sims four and then acne. I wonder if you can, like, use, um, acne cream to get it, like, to remove it since it's an accessory. I don't know. I'm gonna have to figure out on my own whenever I get the game pack. But still, I'm freaking excited for it. So if you don't have it already, well, by the time you're watching this, you, you probably don't have it. But in the future, if you're watching this and you have it, how do you love it? How do you think, what do you think about this game pack? Tell me in the comments below what do you think about it when you have it on the, on May the 30th, which is next week, which is so cool, a week from... Well, it's an, it comes out in four days, actually, because the day is the 26th, and it comes out on the 30th, so four days from now, oh my gosh, I am, whew, I'm so happy right now, mm, so happy. So this house is not, like I said, this house is not fully furnished, it's just something that's there, anywhere, um, that's the thing. So I want to tell you guys a story about this house in a minute, though, because it's, I have 20, 20 some odd minutes to talk, so I have to talk a little bit much. So, if you enjoy commentary, here we go. <laughs> so, for this house, I was thinking that I wanted to have a big house. At first, it was going to be my bachelor challenge house, but I thought, you know what, that's not necessary. I didn't really like it, and I was kind of in the family mood, and I wanted to add this house as a family kind of Spanish colonial house. So, I added a toddler bed, a high chair, along with, I think, a potty chair as well in the toddler room. And then, like, the kids' room, it actually has a normal size bed for a kid and as well as a toddler bed. So you'll have just four bedrooms, four bedrooms, we well, know, yeah, we know. There's five ba five bedrooms and four bathrooms costing you around 200 some odd thousand simoleons on the gallery. And the link is down below if you want to download on there. But if you want to download my other houses, my orange ID is Spring Sims. But, you know. <laughs> That's my life. And okay, so I don't know. I, I think that this house was something that I really wanted to try something different. And I know that you guys suggest a lot of things. And I actually have a build battle series that I have going on now. And I'm thinking that I want to build stuff in The Sims 2 and 3 because I feel like build battle is something that's not restricted to The Sims 4. It's, res it's something that I want to try and do every, like, every single game. I'm not sure about The Sims 1 because you can't share houses. And I'm not sure a lot of people have The Sims 1 besides The Sims Supply. 
And that's all I know because I've only seen him play The Sims 1 on his channel and nowhere nowhere else. Because The Sims 1 is a, is a really, really old game. It's 17 years old. And so I thought, you know what? I don't know. Because I want to build, I want to do a build battle in The Sims 1. But I know, like, how do you, how do you build in The Sims 1? It's like so, it's like very restricted. And I'm like, how do you do it? It's It's weird. It's weird. But, you know, we can always try. We can always try. And I want to go back into my roots where I started the series as a Sims 1, 2, 3, and 4 type of series because I felt more creative that way. And I felt more like, I felt, it felt, felt more fun to me because I got to do, I got to play in different aspects of the game and I got to look at how the Sims has changed in the past 17 years. And that's what I want to try and do more. So if you have any house suggestions, let me know down in the comments below. Or if you have like any house references or at all, go ahead and tweet me them on Twitter so I have a reference so I can kind of have an idea of what I should build that you guys want me to build in The Sims 2, 3, or 4, 1 at loss. Like at all, like let me know. Let me know. <laughs> okay, so uh, back to the Parenthood game pack. So I took the quiz, so I think last week, or a couple of days ago, I can't remember. But The Sims actually released uh, a quiz, like they did the, the gameplay trailer, and that was so much fun to watch. I watched it about a couple times. I might watch it again today after the live stream, but you know, that's my life. So pretty much The Sims released a quiz, and it said, what parent will you be? And I got the, I got the, I got, I think I got the nurturing parent, or either was the, no, I got the fun parent. I got the fun parent one, and it was so cool. So I will leave the quiz down below for you guys to, like, check it out, because I think that you would have some fun with it. So you'll see, so you'll know what kind of parent you are. It would be kind of fun, it would be kind of funny, because I feel like I will be the fun parent in real life, because I'm always so happy and energetic and so outgoing. So, so I say outgoing, air quotes. But I feel like I would be a fun parent, because I'm always... I'm a, I'm always happy and I'm always energetic. And I'm always looking for something to do, and I feel like that. Oh, I can do this and I can do that, and like we can go somewhere else and do this and that. And so yeah, I'll be a fun parent. I know that some people are actually like a a nurturing parent or at least a a strict parent. Like I know who was it? Who was a strict parent? I forget. I can't forget who was who was the strict parent. I think um Samantha from she's a Twitch staff. Uh, yeah, she's part of the Twitch staff, and um, I feel like, I, I forget, I think she was a strict parent, I can't remember, but um, that was a thing. Uh, anyway, so yeah, link down below for the quiz, check it out, it's pretty cool, you should try it, you'll know what parent you are in The Sims 4, that's good. Oh yeah, and there's, a, there's new skills, so there's a parenting trait, and then I know that Sim Guru Ninja needs to work on his parenting skills, because you know, you know, Sim Guru Ninja is a ninja, and... You know, he's fighting crime every day. He got to get that parenting skill up there to protect his family. You know, he, he has to do what he got to do to survive his family and his self. So, you know, <laughs> what is wrong with me? Everything. Anyway, so yeah, the parenting skill. And then there's like some new stuff like the rocket ship model volcano. So if you were, okay, if you were in the eighth grade science fair, what will you choose? A rocket ship or a model volcano that is pretty much a simple, easy A works really great but then again you have to make your volcano very fancy so you can get a good good a because i know that everyone's gonna make a very generic simple model volcano because no one wants that okay because i don't want it either because i'm like i'll be that one judge like mm -hmm, check yeah okay jimmy you did great check sarah you did great harold you did great and then that one kid blows you out the water with that big giant cannon volcano with like automatic volcano like lava spewing spewing out and then you have this like big extravaganza sign info slash dots and whatnot it's, it's crazy like that one can just blows you out the water i'm like how'd you do it tell me your ways tell me your secrets i need to know and i'm like that's that one kid just blows you out the water like do you have that one kid in your school who was like a so know-it-all and like it says like and just says like oh i know everything i'm so cool i'm so smart and like what are you i don't know who you are you're, you're a piece of you're a not a know-it-all you're someone else that who sits in the corner and cries and says that oh i wish you i was i you would say i wish i was this person i wish i was that person no 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 i mean i had that i had that type of person in my school one time and i'm like um who do you think you are you're a little bit crazy you should get out of my life bye see you later don't want to be a mm, no not today so that's what happened in my school in high school pretty much my whole life has changed since high school. Like when I entered high school, my personality and my life, my life has changed for the better. Cause one, I started YouTube in high school. Well, I kind of, yeah, 
yeah, 2009, I started being more serious about YouTube, but I started YouTube when it first came out. So I'm like, I had a YouTube account, a YouTube account back in the day when it first started and uploaded some videos on there, but not a lot. But then I, I started being more serious in high school for in 2009. I started doing more Sim stuff. I did, I did machinimas back in the day and it was a lot of fun. So, oh man, I just love the Sims and how it has so much activity to it. Like you can film machinimas in it. You can do so many different types of story tells and stuff like that. I was thinking that I either want to do a Sims My Life Let's Play or a story, like a legit story-based Let's Play all based on parenthood because I really want to try and do a Let's Play that's very, very story-based and I have to stick to a story. Like I've been playing a lot of Sims life stories and castaway stories and pet stories. Like If you don't know what those series are. It's a Sims 2 side series that the Sims team actually made back in the year 2006-7, I would say around that time, or just, yeah, 2007, 2000, 2008, I think, around that time. And they made those games because I feel, I guess he wanted to tell stories and they did a really good job telling us like they had Vincent's story, they had Riley's story that was in the Sims Live stories, and they had Castaway stories where it's like, kind of like, I don't know, not... Well, it's the show Survivor, kind of, and you're, you're, like, your boat crashed on an island, and you're trying to survive on an island. So it's pretty much like Survivor, but not really. So it's kind of like that, I would say, but it tells a story, and it's really hilarious. And then for Sims Pet Stories, I believe there's actually two stories, or either, there's either one or two stories that go along with Pet Stories, and I know... I think the, the one sim that starts off is Diana, I believe, and she has a dog. And then she's trying to, like, one real estate agent is kind of taking, trying to take over her house, trying to take her house from the market because she's not paying her bills. She's not doing what she needs to do. I don't know. I, I want to play it on my channel. I want to play pet stories and castaway stories. I just have to figure out where I can, um, where my, my CDs are. So that's the thing. And so, and then again in The Sims 3, there's another side series called The Sims Medieval. And The Sims Medieval is so much fun to play. Like, I already have a Let's Play on my channel, but there's only about two parts on it right now. It's because I'm trying to do it weekly. I don't want to do it too, too much, but I want to do a lot more because I feel like Sims Medieval is... <clears throat> my throat. Sims Medieval is a lot of fun to play because it's something that's very very completely different from any sims game i've ever played like no sims game would ever like no like no like all the sim games are very very story like very gameplay wise very family orientated very just very like simulated well so is the sims of evil but either way the sims of evil is very medieval time so there's like sword fighting the royal court you can do so many things and like witches <clears throat> yeah witches yeah wait yeah witches um que kings and queens it's just a lot of things it's a lot of different things in that game and that i really do love so if you want to check it out link down below to amazon because i think you know oh no not amazon it's on origin sims medieval is on origin sims life stories is on amazon and then what else it is um sims 2 i can't i don't know where you can get that at all and if you have a sims 2 ultimate collection the sims life stories does not include the Sims 2 Ultimate Collection does not include Sims Life Stories, so you would you would not have Sims Life Stories in Sims 2 because it's a side project. You would have to buy it separately in order to have it in your just have it. So that's the thing. I know it's kind of weird because like it's a side series, but then like thinking, okay, that's a little bit weird. I'm like, why is it not part of this game? And and you know whatever. It's just it's whatever. I just I'm fine with it. I I just love I love every single sim game known to me that ever made because I have them all. <laughs> I'm a little bit obsessed with it because um you know Sims Attic here loving life as always. So how long have you played this? How, okay, so let me know who your favorite townie is. How long have you been? How long have you been playing The Sims? For me, I've been playing it for 17 years right now, going on year 18 soon. I have been playing it for literally all my life. I was four years old when I started, like literally, it came out on February 4th, I was only, I came out on February 4th, to the year 2000, and I was only three at the time when it was released, but when February 22nd came along, I became four, and then I started playing The Sims 1, then The Sims, well, I started playing this, like, The Sims 1, and there was, like, Sims Online, and then The Sims 2, 3, 4, and, and like, here am I now, and I've been playing every single game known to man like i used to like stay in my room for hours on end just playing the sims 2 i remember one time i was playing the sims 2 for literally 12 
hours. I played it, no, oh, no, 6 a.m. to 6, no, 6 p.m. to 6 a.m., yeah. I played The Sims for literally 12 hours straight. I did not stop. I Well, I, of course, I got up to eat food because, you know, you have to survive somehow. But I only had water and food next to me. But I was playing The Sims 2 for hours and I had so much fun. And I want to go back to those days where I can just kind of sit down and have just, just some random fun just playing The Sims and just doing what I want to do. Whoa, doing what I want to do for just for hours. And I feel like I don't have a lot of time on my hands because one, I'm in college and two, I, I upload daily on the channel. So I'm like, <laughs> how do I have time for like funness? But I feel like that doing YouTube is a lot of fun because I get to have a lot of fun creativity. And I got to do what I love because that's something I like to do. I want to be more creative than I feel like I'm more creative than I was back in the day because I got to build because I wasn't building or like doing like a lot of storytelling back in the day. Even though I was doing Sims 2 machinimas and I was actually telling stories, I literally have all my scripts that I've made all the time. And I kind of want to re revamp them and kind of make them into an actual movie script one day because I want to start making films of my own and telling stories that I've made before. And I think that I want to try and do like a Sims 2 machinima series where I kind of make the script, get voice actors and start doing this hard work. And I feel like that I think this summer I'll have more time to do more, just more Sim stuff, like do machinimas, do more Let's Plays, do more builds, do more creative Sims, do more collabs with people that I've never collabed before. And again, with this build battle series, I'm actually collabing with people I've never collabed before. And I, I think I have. Well, no, because I did one with It's Lost Pause because we never collabed before, but we've been planning to collab before. So she, so she was the first one. And then, then I did a collab with Mousy. And then I did one with Simmer Kitten. And then I'm doing another one with Cyberdoll. And then by Seaside. And I'm just doing so many different collabs with different people that I've never collabed before. And that's what this Sims battle is about. Like doing collabs that I've never done, but like doing collabs with people that I've never done before on top of like doing challenges in that building series. So we're like kind of building houses on a budget or we're either replicating a house that we found on Google Images or Pinterest or anything at all or you guys suggest. And that's what I want to do. I want to bring these series to the next level where I want to one day is to build a house in The Sims and then rebuild it in real life. That's one of my ultimate goals to do. And what I strive for on YouTube, like ever since I started my channel, I've always wanted to strive creativity and positive energy to to anyone who comes to my channel because I feel like that I am a very happy, upbeat person in real life and in YouTube. Like if you met me in real life, I am this loud and crazy or probably like, no, I'm a lot louder and a little bit semi just, just a little bit crazier in real life, but you know, if you met me, cool. I'm sorry, but you know, that's my life. That's who I am. But I ain't changing for the. I'm changing for the better. Semi, semi changing for the better. Anyway, like I said, yeah, I just feel like that I strive for creativity and positivity. So if you come to my channel, you'll find a lot of fun stuff. You'll feel happy because I I respond to every single like no matter. How many comments I get, I don't get that many technically because, you know, I, I don't know why. I don't know why. But, yeah, no matter how many comments I get, I will respond to each and every comment no matter what it is because I feel like I want people to know that they've been heard, they've been seen, and, and they feel noticed because I know how it feels not to be noticed by your favorite YouTuber or, your, or a person in general because I know I have never been noticed in high school sometimes because I was always that awkward person who was like, hey, hey how you doing, Steven? I'm cool. N know me. I'm 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 here. I'm here. I am here. <laughs> anyway, so that's what my life was about in high school. But I was looking. I was in the show choir, choir. I was in yearbook. I was in some other clubs in high school too. I was very active in high school, but now like in college, I'm like, huh. What do I do with my life? <laughs> but no, I was in. I was in college. I was in college activities, which is a type of a. Uh, an activities world where you plan events for an entire school, for the entire student body of the school. And that was fun. It was a lot of work. It was stressful. But, you know, that was my life. And I had a lot of fun with it. So, either way, I had fun. It was pretty cool. There was no story to this bill because I didn't, I talked the whole the way through about the parenthood pack, Sims Evil, Sims Life Stories, Pet Stories, and Castaway Stories, and, and the Sim Gurus. Ah, okay, so, oh no, 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 no. I've been watching this new show called Twin Peaks. Well, it's not really a new show. It was made back in the 1990s where I wasn't born. Well, it was born in 1996, but it came out in 1990. And it ended 
it at 1991. So it was only there for a year, which is sad because it's so good. It's like a murder. It's not really a. It's a really a murder murder mystery. It kind of it's kind of like Stranger Things, but it really isn't. But it, I get that vibe from it, kind of, sort of. So if you want to check it out, it's on Hulu. It's pretty cool. I honestly love Twin Peaks right now because I know that Sim Guru Meg actually likes Twin Peaks. And I recently started watching it before she sent out that tweet. And I was like, oh my gosh, wait. Did you say Twin Peaks? I'm on episode eight. And I only have a few more episodes left. For, well, yeah, I'm on episode eight right now on Twin Peaks of the old show. But I know that they actually have Twin Peaks Return, which is a new series that they are kind of revamping. It's the same exact thing. And I think with the same exact characters. I'm not really sure. I have to check it out. But they've they've returned and it's back now. And it's all about Laura, Laura Palmer, I believe. And it's it's an American drama series, which is so cool. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Laura Palmer was the person who was an innocent high school that recently was murdered. And are trying to solve the mystery, which is Really cool. I honestly love it. So that's the end of this story. But either way, I really hope you guys enjoyed this this video as much as I did. If let me know what you think down in the comments below. As always, if you have any building suggestions at all to me on Twitter or in the comments below, as always. Anyway, I upload every single day and I will see you guys all in the very next video. Bye! <laughs>